All right. I went ahead and put the uh, blanket on. I didn't show how I did this, only because uh, I covered in my instructional videos exactly how I do something like that. And uh, I'm just uh, getting everything positioned here. And uh, just putting some texture into the uh, clay. I'm going to put his hat on today, too. But I want to work on his eyes just a little bit more. Because I'm not quite happy with his eyes. So I'll be right back when I get ready to start that part. Time to play with some clay. Let me explain what's going on here in this piece. He's getting ready to go on a night uh, watch over the cattle on the drive. While all the other cowboys are down, bedding down and sleeping, he's going to be out serenading the cattle, watching over them. It's called night hawking. And uh, it's called other names too, but Night Hawking's the, the uh, name that I picked up on. And uh, I'm just putting texture in the blanket. I'm just got to have some kind of texture to give it character. And he's having a cup of coffee before he goes out and uh, watches over the cattle. Because he's going to have to try to stay awake. <laughs> I'm debating on whether to put a six-shooter on his hip or not. Um, I'm not sure that... Uh, they would have carried a gun, because if they fired it off, that would cause a stampede. So I don't know exactly what to do. And I'm going to do a little more research on that part. But I decided to go ahead and put the blanket on, because um, it just needed to go. I also needed to see how it's going to look. And I'm happy with uh, how this turned out. All right, I'll be right back. I don't know if I'm going to put a hat on him now or not. I I do like the fact that it hangs off his back. It gives a nice design to frame in the face of the cowboy and his shoulders. It's, it's uh, having it hang on his back. And, uh, and it makes a nice design in the back here. Uh, on the robe. I'll have to decide that. Might put it down just a little bit further. If I put it down a little further, I don't have to have an opening in the hat. And uh, that's something that one less thing they have to mold. Hmm. I'm going to think about that. Yeah, I'm going to have to do his ears too, so this is going to take some work here. I might have to reposition the uh, clay so I can get it closer to me. Okay, I'm going to work on his eyes a little bit.
He has a bit of a tired look in his eyes. <laughs> I remember in the Navy happened to, in boot camp, having to stand watch after 12 o'clock midnight over our clothes drying on the uh, clothesline. Yeah, we had clothes. I can't remember what we called it, but it, we had to stand watch over our clothes that we had drying on our clotheslines outside our barracks. And we had to carry a, an M, oh, I can't remember what the name of the rifle was. It was an old World War II rifle, it was heavy. And you better not be caught sleeping. Or <laughs> you'd be doing push-ups and holding your gun out in front of you for about an hour or so. But, oh man, I hated that. It was so quiet. I went to boot camp in San Diego. And uh, at least it wasn't cold. But some nights it would be raining. And you had to be out there watching your clothes. In all kinds of weather. I'm sure anybody that's served in the military knows what I'm talking about San Diego boot camp I was born in San Diego and it was the first time I'd been back to San Diego since I was born to attend boot camp My dad served in the Navy in the Pacific. So he probably went to boot camp in San Diego too. But he went there in the 30s. I went there in the 60s. I gave him an eyebrow. I think I'm going to do that on the other eye, too. I kind of like that. Whew. I don't know why this is so stressful. But it's very mentally stressing. I'm going to just put some texture in his eyebrows, like he's got bushy eyebrows. Kind of like that. It's just moving molecules of clay. That's all I'm doing.
I'm going to give him a dishpan haircut. My dad used to cut my hair when I was a little kid. And uh, he always gave me a dishpan haircut. Where it was just about taken up above the ears. I always hated getting my hair cut, still do. In fact, I gotta go get my hair cut. <laughs> now I think about it. I think I got my, last time I got my hair cut was back in January. The beginning of the year. on the hairline here. I need one more stock of hair here. Yeah, that looks good. All right, that's uh, the clay for now. The blanket on is uh, on him, the serape. And uh, I'll have to make the opening for the serape. But, uh, and his cowboy hat's on there. And I got his hair on there. I gotta work on his neck. Fine tune that and I'll uh, do that tomorrow as well as uh, work on his uh, ears but I'm happy the way this is working out I think it's going to be a good piece now I just got to do the rest of the clothing do the cop cup and uh, we'll see how this turns out whether it'll make a good bronze or not I don't know yet it's got a good start though I like his hair. I didn't want to get too wild with it, but uh, I think I did okay. All right, everybody. Good night, and uh, I'll see you next time. Adios, amigos. Oh, I'll be uh, videoing my trip tomorrow, so I will have to have a video tomorrow night. All right, good night. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.